Hi, what's up guys? Uh, we are here in the next section about Snowflow and uh, what I'm gonna do is I will create a simple scene to show you some of the features because uh, I'm sure you can find a lot of good and nice tutorials over the web about this plugin but uh, I promise to show you all the techniques I have used in the Quicksilver scene in Chamonix so here we go okay first what we need to do is to run the script so I will go to the max script and run script and I will choose the 48 designer snowflow by the way you can't see that so that's right here 48 design in the script snowflow we have here presets and we have the snowflow now it's going to check for the internet connection I'm not at the moment connected so well yeah we cannot check for the updates Hit OK, and because Snowflow produces small details, the system units should be at least 0 0.01 meters, but they are set to one meter. So should Snowflow correct this issue? And uh, we can hit OK. It will do that. And you, if you are afraid about the units in your scene, then I suggest to create the objects in a predefined scene for Snowflow, so we can save this scene for example set to snowflow and then we can use and merge elements from this scene it's going to be safe perfectly so that's what i recommend to do and uh, what we can do here in snowflow we can create uh, three types of snow uh, so we have the snowflakes we have extrusion and shell snow now the snowflakes are pretty good for objects that are complicated with a lot of geometry and this will also take uh, a lot of time to calculate but still it's the most accurate method to render out or calculate the snow and we have also the extrusion which is dedicated to very simple scenes uh, very simple objects like uh, grounds surfaces and uh, also shell it's a similar way but you know uh, for back uh, for surfaces with back faces for example so it's going to create the snow in two direction. Okay, we have also here some presets for the material, so we can use the V-Ray Snow and V-Ray Snow without transparency, so we'll use that one for the sake of the tutorial. And we have also here a cool snow plug uh, panel, and I will show you in uh, also in a few seconds how this is gonna work. And we have snow print, which is a very cool feature. Uh, I haven't tested it out yet uh, very well on my scenes. It's looking quite good for animation, for animations. If you, for example, want to create uh, footprints on the snow, even um, animated uh, tire tracks. So, as soon as I get some more time to to test it out and create an animation, I will do that for you. And um, in the recent Snowflow version, you get the snow print included. In the previous versions, it has been a separate plugin. You can also purchase only the snow print. So feel free to go to the 48 designer site and purchase the Snowflow plugin. It's not very expensive, definitely worth the price. Anyway, let's go ahead and create a small scene. So I will start with a teapot maybe. And uh, we have here the size, I will set to one meter, so you can see it better. Oops, one. Okay, now I will rise up a bit the segments, so it's gonna be, yeah, not bad. Now press J to hide the brackets. And we'll also start to create a simple ground, and uh, that's basically a plane. I will add a bit more divisions here. And to have a bit of variety on the snow, I will add maybe even 40. Yeah, let's choose a camera. So V-Ray, V-Ray physical camera. Okay, that's good. Maybe even a bit from the top. I will scale it down a bit. Okay, now with the... What we are going to do is to apply a displace. So here we go, we have a displace modifier and we'll choose a map. So we'll find a smoke map. 
here's the smoke and we can play around with the strength now and you can see that we are going to affect the ground now what we can do is to counter this into editable poly and uh, we'll add a bit more divisions so we'll use the uh, normal subdivisions uh, so it's looking pretty good okay now what we can do is to choose an object to create the zone so I will hit on the teapot and now we can hit let it snow and immediately we'll start with the calculations so I have the snow method set to snowflakes that's good we have uh, some presets also here so I will set the preset for objects and uh, we have uh, the amount of the surface relaxing which will make the snow looking much more smoother and also the numbers of particles higher number of particles more accurate snow you will receive but also more or just longer calculation time so we'll go with the default preset here we have the poly count set to high that's pretty good and we hit let it snow so let's go up let it snow and we need to wait a few seconds for the calculations okay and the calculation has been finished so we can shut it down and we already can see the snow created in our object it's a pretty dense mesh looking good the count of the particles were also high and what I can suggest you sometimes is to when you have a lot of a complicated object you can divide the object into smaller one and you can even add some divisions because in this case more divisions uh, can mean uh, lower calculation times sometimes so now that sounds weird but that's what it is and we have applied the V-Ray snow material without transparency so we can check it out so that's the shader it's pretty white we have some reflection and no refraction pretty high subdivision so if you want to win a bit on time you can you know just go to the default 8 then it's gonna be crazy for the snow maybe not so bad so you can consider this option and uh, now we'll choose the ground object so let's go ahead and select object which is our plane which is the ground object so we have this name now updated here and uh, I'm gonna choose the snow method as extrusion so we have the ground preset and we can see that uh, the poly count will be yeah we can set it as high medium we'll set it medium good let it snow we have the same material in the scene we can use the same one or we can uh, rename it if you want to so we can rename that one and we can choose a different one for, for the ground and at the moment we can see that we have nice snow here so looking good and now for example what we can do is we can use the plugin option snow plug so we'll select the surface that's the surface and we select the object, we select the teapot and now we we'll start for example to rise the snow around the teapot and I will just hit plug it in, plug it in you see so that's looking pretty cool we can also undo this and uh, sink the snow around the teapot uh. We can work on the thickness so we can do it much thicker now the radius will be also bigger and uh, let's create maybe one more cylinder here that's good okay and we'll do the same thing so we have the ground that is the ground and uh, the object will be the cylinder here and we'll rise up plug it in well that's so strong yeah why not so that's the idea for the scene of course now we can add the blizzard for example to create a snow or uh, any other particle system and by the way uh, when you are using pflows then you can use the uh, pflow preset manager I'm not sure about the name yeah that's the 
preset flow here and you can save it your presets and use them later or even share with friends you know, or um, co-workers so you can have the same files anyway we'll get back to this in the next section so do not worry about that at the moment and enjoy the rest of the show and I see you very soon